Robbinsville's Tens coming together for a pregame chat against the group from West Windsor, the only ones to beat Arville. West Windsor's Twelves were there. Check them out later this week on Mid Jersey Sports as they go for their district crown. First inning, Justin Guest lines this fast and hard to center. Ryan Visich with a swift grab, but it's definitely deep enough for Dylan Palmer to tag and come home. The green and gold strike first. Offensively, the rest of this game belonged to the boys in blue. Kyle Madera pokes this just through. That ties the game as Monday's warmth finally started to cool for people. Ryan DiMaggio hits a little nubber to second. They go to second base for one. They weren't able to turn two as Visich scores. Christian Ailey at the dish belts this down the right field line. That's a fair ball. That's Jolton Ryan stick at home. Madera up again later, hits this to right. Tyler Provost, who got on earlier, gets picked up. That's four on the board for Arville. Jason Gallucci drills this one to the gap in left center. That will score more than one. The two Christians, Martini followed by Ailey, come in no problem. Madera was on his way too, but he got caught in a rundown, or pickle if you're a fan of the movie The Sandlot. And watch, he will almost get out of it, but Dylan Elias does make the tag. DiMaggio back up having a Jolton Joe kind of night. This is lifted to left and we'll get back to the wall. One run is in. Visich makes it two. Brian Herbert, one of Friday's big heroes, becomes one of Monday's. DiMaggio's all-star night just involved one base running miscalculation, but it hardly mattered. Elias the one to eliminate another runner from a pickle. Gallucci came up in the later innings. He sends this blooper to straightaway center. It will score Provost. A number of runs were also walked in. Robbinsville's tens dominate, and they force a winner-takes-all second game of the D12 final. Our subs came in and hit well and started the whole rally. Nice. Yeah, they, we picked up right after that. We just kept hitting and hitting, and it felt good. We went from 2 to 18. Ryan pitched great, and... Uh, we just hit the ball well. Today we put the bat on the ball and scored once. What needs to happen tomorrow for you guys to win? Let's play good defense. We just need to come back and hit still. And <laughs> we got to keep hitting and they still have two of their good pitchers, so we got to create offense. We'll see you again, guys. For Mid Jersey Sports, I'm Mark Fontes.